Looks like you can't go retreat to the castle and find slimes to go beat up. Um, that's not going to be a case here. So we'll see how our runners decide to deal with that. As we're off, High Spirits deciding to be a ghost. That fell out. Now it is regular Dragon Warrior randomizer, so our players will start off with uh, uh, three treasure chests here in the throne room, and uh, I believe I saw some wings. They're going to be able to keep keys. Keys are required in this seed, but our runners are going to be able to use the wings to get out of the throne room and keep their starting key. So that's a nice nice boost there. Oh, and look at this. Town, Sherlock, everything close by. Ooh, High Spirit's showing us that it's, it's coal right next door. Allie also is going to go check the search bot first. Um, oddly here, I don't know where we want the armor. Um, and good news, we don't. We find what we probably do want is the sword. That's probably the best find in this seed. Now our runners have a lot of power with that sword. Sword plus 40 attack power. And uh, it becomes much easier to kill those mid-game enemies with that. So they don't have to worry if they start repelling slimes or drakeys or whatever. They're all going to have the sword right off the bat. And um, yeah, they're probably going to not want to find slimes and drakeys. They're probably going to want to start finding those mid-tier enemies right away. Cyber showing off his sword by destroying a Magidrake and quickly, quickly jumping up to level 2, and I'm sure the rest of our runners, there's Zarnax, I believe, catching 2, I think I saw in the corner of my eye there. Um, they're all going to be able to kill those Magidrake type enemies and all get leveled really fast here. Uh, Cyber showing us Cantlin right nearby, so if there is a, uh, if there's a gold grind available, we'll get to that later on. Uh, Cantlin has an awful lot of goodies, awful lot of shops in it, so we'll keep that in mind. There's another town right nearby. That's three towns. Very close. That's Remolder. Remolder, usually an exciting town to find, but our runners are able to keep keys. Ooh, Ali trying the wolf. And not quite enough on level one for the wolf. The sword's powerful, but not quite powerful enough. So on High Spirit's side, we're going to get the first check of our treasury and see what's in there. Have a torch. A fighter's ring, so you can get two more attack power with that. The sword... Already give them a lot of attack power, but they'll take the plus. And just a couple of cursed belts, so uh, unless there's something really special in the back of uh, the castle there, it does not look like we will be able to have that gold grind. Right now, as I mentioned, the level's flying here. Uh, Zarnax picking up three, Cyber picking up four. Zarnax uh, opting for the go look around strats, the explore strats, whereas uh, Cyber seems happy to go check the. Ooh, four bringing Hurtmore in. So now we really don't care. Look at that. Cyber Dark, 83 attack power and Hurtmore. I mean, at this point, you really don't. Uh, repel. You want repel at this point. You don't want to fight anything if defense broken. Uh, we've got level four, barely three minutes in. We've got all the tools we could ever want to kill. Jeez, anything? Anything? I think anything. Sarnax picking up that magical level 4, and again with the sword, even High Spirits, or even Ali, who's still on level 1, it will not take them very long to get to that level 4. Level 4 also bringing heal along, just the regular heal spell, so, um, I mean, that'll always help, that helps to ex uh, expand, uh, expand your little exploration trips out, so, that will be welcome. Alright, all kinds of exploration going on. Ali checking out south, and I'm not really seeing too much there. Looks like Cyber is going to venture to the back of Tantago. I think Cyber still has to check out the treasury, but I would not be surprised if he checks out the back of Tantago as well. We see Zarnax also running around. And Ali picks up that magical level 4 and now is sitting at that 83 attack power and hurt more. Um, and High Spirits... High Spirits has been uh, checking out some things, it's doing some exploring, and still not very far away from level 4. The experience is going to be all over the map here. We have so many ways to pick up experience that it's going to be... The experience lead is going to bounce back and forth and really not matter for the moment. Um, High Spirits does check that Remolder chest and finds it's just an herb. And yeah, as David mentions there in chat too, Remolder does have the silver shield, so that's something that, uh, well, there's no gold grind available, unfortunately. Ooh, Ali finding the, <laughs> Ali finding the Armored Knight, and so happy he had zero there. Um, we don't have a gold grind as long as like in the treasury of the castle, so that silver shield might be tough to find, but it is... 
Now, as mentioning, we wanted to be careful about our defense power. Um, uh, High Spirits has a defense power of 7 on level 3. Uh, you know, Cyberdark and Zarnax on levels 5 and 6. They're at 11 and 12. So, I mean, we're not repelling very much right now. Cyber, ooh, finding a cave. Finding Mountain Cave underneath. So the Gold Grind might be back now. Might be able to go Gold Grind out of the bottom Mountain Cave. Um, but our defense power is pretty low. Oh, there we go. We will be able to. There is gold in the, in the bottom Mountain Cave, so the Gold Grind's back on. Um, so things like this Blue Dragon can back attack and do some serious damage, as we see on Cyber's side there. Um, so we do want to raise our defense power as much as possible. We're not too worried about defense breaking things, because with Hurtmore and all the attack power in the world, we can kill pretty much whatever we feel like. Uh, almost whatever we feel like. So um, I think the next step for our runners is going to be to uh, try to work on that defense power a little bit. I think Allie might be going for that dragon scale as we get uh, synchronized blue dragon deaths on the top of our, of, our, um, of our screen there. Put it in perspective, High Spirits getting level 3, finally defense breaks a red slime, so he's repelling the red slime at this point, and the regular slime, and... Okay. Meanwhile, Cyber's back in Mountain Cave, and he finds a much nicer Axe Knight. The Axe Knight much nicer, uh, ooh, well, until that happens. Uh, because you can hurt more of them, but the Axe Knight hurt more back. Uh, hurt more will take out Armored Knights, or Axe Knights, I mean, roughly, I don't know, 50, 75% of the time. But uh, Cyber getting a little unlucky there. The Axe Knight survived, and then showed him a heal. Uh, hurt more back, so... Not able to get it, but uh, he looks pretty committed to checking out that mountain cave. And it's pretty close by, so I don't really blame him. If he can get one of those Axe Knights with the, uh, with the Hurt more, he's going to get a ton of experience from that. And uh, Zarnax also in that mountain cave. I believe we've only seen the top chest here. I think Zarnax is about to get to it for the first time, and he's going to see the gold there. Um, I don't believe Cyber made it to any of the bottom chests, the, the four chests in the bottom. Okay, but Zarnax is there now, so we'll get a peek at them. <laughs> the Sword Magic Drake. So, uh, Zarnax has initiated the gold grind and finds that the Sword Magic Drake is really a magic key. He's going to take a second to do a little magic key grind there. So, more gold, and uh, I believe... Ooh, I didn't see what that was. Torch? Fairy water? Something like that? I'm not sure he saw either. He's going to go look for another one and see what it was. It was a... Oh, Ali exploring north, able to see another cave. Looks like, I believe it has to be Tablet Cave. Meanwhile, Zarnax up there taking advantage of that gold grind to uh, uh, grab some gold. Ooh, there are two caves up by up by Sharlock. So everything really close by the castle. We've seen, what, four towns near the castle, and now there's Sharlock and two caves a little up north. That is a very densely populated area right around Tantagal there. Zarnax does his gold grind in Mountain Cave. Uh, the rest of our runners exploring outside. High Spirits getting to that big desert and finding, surprise, another cave. Ooh, and High Spirits gets a Magic Wyvern. Nice enemy to get if they don't back attack. You Magic Wyvern guaranteed to be killed by Hurtmore. So he Hurtmore is that Magic Wyvern and picks up level 6. So all our runners on level 6 now. We had a, uh, ooh, Cyberdark finding bonus cave. I, I missed that, but this what it was, but uh, there it is. Oh, and High Spirits finds out the Green Dragons have baby breath, but oh, can't quite kill it with one hurt more. Um, that is still nice, though. If you can uh, maybe not get back attacked, you can survive an attack and guarantee yourself a kill there. Once again, Cyberdark had a knight. Knights are usually really good with hurt more, too, but another back attack. There's a lot of back attacks out there right now. Kaimon helping me out there, uh, mentioning in chat that it was the fairy flute in, in the bonus cave. Probably not useful, but you know. Zarnax has finished up his gold grind. He goes and checks the last chest. The game tells him he found a bamboo pole, but in reality, he's found a, uh, uh, a torch. 
and a rogue scorpion will be nice. Those, again, guaranteed to be killed by a hurt more and worth a nice, tasty 70 experience. That's going to get our first runners aren't up to level 7. Level 7 has a nice, uh, nice boost to the agility, which was a little low, which is uh, why we're seeing all those back attacks. And also some nice uh, HP gains, too. So when you have high attack, hurt more, and you have uh, really low defense, that HP obviously helping. Uh, you want to be able to survive a few attacks so you can get your hurt mortars and your, your swings with Erdrick's sword in. So that'll be a very welcome level 7 for Zarnax and our other runners. Let's see. Spirits looks like he's found his way into something that mm, vaguely resembles... I don't know what it is. Oh, it's Mountain Cave. We hadn't seen drolls in Mountain Cave before, but High Spirit shows us our first droll in Mountain Cave, apparently. Allie also finding Mountain Cave, so Zarnak's the only one that's full cleared it. He got all that beautiful gold, and he is gonna find himself a magic armor. And I would assume he's gonna go looking for the silver shields. Um, I don't know if he saw it before, but with so many towns near near uh, Tantagel, he might just gamble on the fact that one of these places has to have the silver shield. And um, if Cantlin doesn't have one by the time he makes it over Mulder, he'll get his silver shield there. Not only is that going to help Zarnax in terms of the obvious defensive boosts, but he's not going to have to deal with, you know, running into the little tinier enemies like Drolls. Oh, that's why we didn't see a Droll. Maybe the other runners were defense breaking stuff. Anyway, he's going to get fewer encounters, and he's going to get those high-value encounters that you really want to see with Hurtmore. So this extra defense helping in a couple of different ways, or will help in a couple of different ways for Zarnax. Meanwhile, High Spirits has got the gold grind activated in his corner, too. Pretty sure he saw the silver shield, too, so I, I'd imagine he's going for the same combo that Zarnax has. Or even if he hasn't, he's going to sort of figure, like, there's a million towns near Tantagel. They've got to have something. Allie getting the good news on level 7 and Cyberdark. Uh, well, he put some zeros up there. Sure, level 7 did have some zeros, but it did come with some agility and some HP that will be very welcome for our run. Mr. Holmes asking, level 6 in 12 minutes. Yes, that's what happens when the sword is right near next to, uh, right next to the castle. You get very, very quick starts, and this is no exception. Oh, Cyber finding a blue dragon. Find out the blue dragon has hurt, so he's trying to hurt more strats against it. Hurt more, about 50% to land on the blue dragon. You usually need two of them to kill a blue dragon. Um, hoping to get enough chances, uh, with uh, the Blue Dragon casting Hurt, but the Blue Dragon gives up its Hurt strategies and just claws in the depths. I don't know, Mr. Holmes, it's usually about this point in the race, in, 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 the, in the seed, when I have 50 defense power and 3 attack power and don't know what I'm going to do, but our runners are doing much better than that. Whoa, Ali finding a massive level 8. If you thought level 7 was good, level 8, even better. Um, so that that's gonna be that's gonna be good for Ali. Ali is Ali's in business at level eight. Again, so are other runners once they once they pick up the uh, 600, 600 experience needed for level eight. So Zarnax in the meantime checking out Cantlin, only able to find the large shield in Cantlin. But again, once Zarnax makes the way makes his way over to uh, uh, Remolder. Uh, which I imagine he'll check, because there's still two more towns to go that are in this area. Um, he'll have his silver. Cyber getting the good news. Not a whole lot of agility, but a lot of power, a lot of HP, and I guess there was some MP as well. Zarnax and Cantlin, and with the Heal More spell, are going to check out the coordinates. I should mention that we have to actually do the whole questy thing at some point, too. Um, in order to get access to Dragonlord's Castle, we need to make the, uh, we need to form the Rainbow Bridge. We need the Rainbow Drop to form the Rainbow Bridge. And in order to get the Rainbow Drop, we need a whole bunch of things. Um, right, so there are coordinates on Zarnax's screen, helpfully. Looks like frozen there for a second. There they go. Uh, <clears throat> we need some things to build the Rainbow Drop. We need the Silver Harp, the Silver Harp, and we also need a, um, a cave where we can trade in the Silver Harp for the Staff of Rain. We haven't seen any of that stuff yet. We need the Stones of Sunlight. 
I haven't seen that either. I also need Erdrick's token. Hey, we haven't seen that either. Um, so all those quest items still out there somewhere that we'll be looking to collect. And then we also need to find yet another cave with uh, a jerk, old man, who will take all those items and turn them into a rainbow drop for us. So as far as questing goes, we haven't done any of that yet. We've got a ridiculous amount of attack power. We found the sword. Uh, you know, our gold grinds let us do some, uh, some de let us get some defensive upgrades. Uh, we haven't really got any questing taken care of yet, though. Now, uh, as far as as far as uh, the overworld search bot goes, Zarnax got the coordinates: 54 north, 76 west. Makes it to those coordinates and checks them out. He may find one of the aforementioned quest items, or he could find Erdrick's armor, or he could find um, uh, the death necklace. Uh, the death necklace, an accessory that will curse you, but it will give you 10 extra power in exchange for 25% of your HP. Probably not going to need that because our attack power is already silly high, but uh, but you never know. Oh, hey, look, I think we uh, lowered our defense power enough that we're not repelling Z-Mans anymore. How's it going, z -Man? I am doing well, Rye Guy. How are you doing, my friend? Man, I'm watching 119 attack power. Life is good when you have 119 attack power 15 minutes into a seat. That is fantabulous. And I was looking at their stats, too. It looks like their defensive power is nice and low, so they're not repelling too many things right now. So it looks like, actually, this looks like a pretty, pretty kind seed, except for the fact that it doesn't look like anybody has really anything noteworthy, like, you know, no harp, no stones, no token. Yeah, I was just mentioning that. We haven't done any of our questing type things yet, but uh, we've definitely gotten all bulked up and ready to kill the Dragon Lord. We just have to, like you said, go out and quest. Um, yeah, the sword was right next door, so we had a ton of attack power early and hardly any defense power. There's a gold grind available in the bottom of Tantago, so you see a couple of runners have picked up the big gear. The others are are on their way to it as Ali is sitting on a gold chest right now and Cyber's back in the mountain cave. So we got started with nice low defense, we got hurt more, we got a ton of attack power, now we're beefing up our defense because we don't care about repelling things now. And you're right, we just have quests to do. Man, it looks like we've got a bunch of things close to start. It looks like Sherlock is right there, so I mean can't really do any complaining about this seat it looks like. Now it's just they need to find all the stuff. Yeah, that's kind of the one weird thing about this seed is you're right, everything's close by. It's very densely populated. We have three or four towns, there's three or four caves nearby, Sherlock's on the same screen, and yet none of our quest items have shown up yet. Maybe this is one of those, you know, Erdrick armor in in uh, Sherlock seeds. We sh we'll find out, I guess, at some point. If, if it's ever going to be in, in Sherlock, this would be a nice seed for the armor to be in Sharlock. They have so much attack power and a pretty decent amount of HP on level 8. They, they could make it without the armor probably pretty well. I spied there that before the this blue dragon fight, I think Zarnax had found his way into Swamp Cave. Yep, looks like he has. So he's going to explore, he's going to see what's on the other side of that. Possibly rescue a princess. He's the only one that has the coordinates. Okay, so it looks like Eldridge Brap is doing a fairy water grind on whatever chest he was in. Ooh, maybe trying to go for the... Uh... Fairy water, dragon lord strats. Um, so high spirits finding the jerk, and ooh, a cute little mountain town. Oh, it's Garenham. Speaking of questing, some of our questing stuff could be back behind here, either in the treasure chest or there's a cave in the back. Yep, let's see what they have here. I'm still not sure where Eladrabrap is. And it looks like Xarnax is grinding on the blue dragon in the swamp cave. Okay, he did take out one earlier, so he's been uh, emboldened by that. He's just attacking even, doesn't need the hurt more. Um, high Spirit's finding, hey look, there's two of our items, Harp and Token. So Now it would only be ideal if the old man with the uh, Staff of Rain would be under Garenham. That would be perfect. Oh, maybe not perfect, but this is Garen's grave, which might have those stones of sunlight we've been hunting around for. So 
High Spirits gets the top, and it's gold, gold, Dragon Skate. Doesn't look like he's gonna check the bottom for the Stones of Sunlight. There are still a couple other places the Stones could be. They could be on the Overworld, which Zarnax has the coordinates for, and Chat's saying that maybe High Spirits got the coordinates too? If he did, I missed them. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure involved. he did right when I was coming in. Oh, he did? Okay, so maybe he knows that there's coordinates there, and he's gonna go look for the stones there, or maybe he's gonna look for them in Hawk's Nest, but um, we'll have to wait and see if anyone does check the bottom. Now the Jabrap heading back into this cave over here by Sherlock Castle, and... Which cave is this? I think this is Swamp, maybe? Maybe, maybe. One of these is Swamp, I think. Yeah, I forget the order, too. One of them was Swamp, and I believe the other was Tablet Cave, but I don't remember which was which, so... Maybe Ali looking for Swamp and finding Tablet instead, or vice versa. Yeah, I'd say the nice thing about this seed, too, is it's been easy to find experience. Aside from the 122 attack power, there's a bunch of Axe Knights running around, a bunch of Werewolves running around. There were some Rogue Scorpions earlier. Couldn't ask for much more with them. Yeah, what level did we get uh, hurt more in this seed? Was it fairly early, or was it just, like, recently, like, level 7, 8? Oh, it was level 4. Yeah, level 4 hmm. had it. They got the sword, they walked out, killed a couple magic drakeys, and the game was like, here, have some hurt more, too. Nice. So, do we know that the Swamp Cave is connecting two continents, or might we still just have a one-continent seed? Because... As Waziski asks in uh, chat, uh, wouldn't it make sense to get the GPS? And the answer is, I don't know, do we have one continent or do we definitely have two? If we have two, then I would think this would be a GPS required. I don't think we've seen quite enough of Swamp Continent yet to know about it. I think the GPS is probably required. I don't believe you can go that far west on Main Continent unless there's a little branch of Main Continent that I missed. So um, it'd be a tough count anyway. I think it's likely those coordinates are over on Swamp Continent either way, and it'd be a really tough count. But I wonder if our runners are just going to try looking for the stones in other places. Like, for example, Alley's in Hawksness right now. Uh, maybe some of them, High Spirits, I think he's the only one that's found the graves. Maybe they're thinking it could be in the grave or something like that. Although, right on cue, look who's rescuing the princess. Yep. Zarnak is def definitely going for the princess, and he did get to level 10 at some point. So it'll be inter and so did uh, Cyberdark, so it'll be interesting to see level 10, some moderate stat growths. Their MP, though, looks to be stupid low for level 10. Yeah, the MP's not great. The agility also not great either, but, um, uh, I mean, the other stats are pretty good. Eh, who cares about agility? It's just a number. Bleh. Finally, in Permanent Repel, I can say that agility for sure matters, because the more agility you have, the more defense you have, and the more stuff you'll Permanent Repel. So finally, we at least have something that agility is guaranteed to do. Feh, I say. Feh. It took until week six in the playoffs, but we finally found a use for agility. <laughs> So it does look like High Spirits did make his way back to Pantagil and has found the Vanilla Stones of Sunlight Cave. Let's see what we have here. Nothing good. Oh, the Fairy Flute. Yeah, possibly good, but in, in situations. But so far, we haven't seen any golems yet. Um, I think Cyber checked the... Yeah, Cyber checked the Hawksness. definitely check the Hawks to spot because I see him not taking damage, which means somebody found himself in Erdrick's armor. I didn't see it was on the Hawks spot. spot. Is it that blue dragon? But uh, Hawksness I... does have the... Oh, okay. Stone Man was on the trap tile, and it does have our Erdrick's armor. So, Sherlock is going to be pretty gosh darn empty, except for, I, I don't know, maybe a fighter's ring? Oh, nope. They all have the fighter's ring, so maybe a death necklace, but, I mean, is this a death necklace seed, given their attack power right now? No. 
probably not a death necklace seed, although with the low MP, you might want to raise your attack power silly high, but uh, I mean, that, that's pretty unlikely. That also means that on that overworld search bot that Zarnax now has the princess to help him search out, I think we're down to only having the stones or the death necklace. I don't think anything else could... I think you are correct. So Zarnax already having picked up uh, the Goylan positioning system might be at a slight advantage here if he can, you know, figure out his way through and figure out where the that search spot is. Yeah, it really comes down to how far west they can go on this main continent, and I, I don't think they can go any fur much further west than Bonus Cave, and I don't think this is nearly 76 across, so you might need that Goylan positioning system to help you figure out where those... And we do apologize, Zarnax is dropping some frames at this point in time. Although we have enough frames to see that he was only 34 north, and it looks like he reached the northernmost point he would get to, so I do think that's going to clinch it. I think it is over on Swamp Continent somewhere. I didn't see very many reference points up there. I mean, you couldn't really see much land across that ocean, so I think our runners, if that is a stone of sun, stones of sunlight, the princess might be required, which could give Zarnax a real... Real nice head start. We have Cyber Dark getting to level 11. Ooh, nice agility gain there, level 11. Looks like they get 11 agility points. Very helpful to, uh, to, uh, repel things. Um, 56 defense for Cyber Dark with the armor, no shield yet. Zarnax up there has the magic armor, no Airdrix armor. Um, looks like he's taking a death warp in the swamp there. But at 73 defense power, he is, uh, he's repelling everything except knights and magic wyverns and the Sherlock enemies, so, um, oh, and these knights, too. like Zarnax is walking over the direction of Swamp Cave, so he might have come to that same conclusion. He needs to check out Swamp. Alley back in Hawksness. The Blue Dragon must have gotten Alley before he got to the Stone Man. So if Alley can get rid of this Blue Dragon and get to the Stone Man, he's going to be quite happy with what he finds. So we using a lot of resources here. Let's see. Can Alley get lucky here? He's got to heal more. So now all he has to do is just get a good sleep lock on this stone, man, and he'll have the... Oh, but they don't have sleep. <laughs> That's a problem. Yeah, you gotta power through. Punch and heal more, punch and heal more, I guess. He's got no MP for heal more. But he takes care of the stone, man. Yeah, I guess I was going for the general strat, yeah. But yeah, he did get it. He got his armor, too. like Zarnax make his way over to the other continent at this point. I think maybe. Alright, so he's, yeah, it looked like he couldn't really go any more north or west. That makes sense. Cyber going, has did see the coordinates, going to rescue the princess, so Cyber hot on his trail, hot on the overworld search spot. It's the only one to find Garenham, which houses the... Oh, as I say that, I think Allie's about to come across, across Garenham, so Allie will get the uh, Staff of Rain and the uh, Airdrix token, or the Harp. Airdrix. And we do have Cyberdark returning Waylon to the king. So 
yeah, Garenham taking care of a lot of our questing. Uh, High Spirits already found uh, already found the Harp trade in and has his Staff of Rain. And uh, we saw it earlier. I can't remember if it was High Spirits that saw it, but one of our runners saw earlier where the uh, Jerk Cave was as well. So we don't need a whole lot more stuff. Once we find that uh, those Stones of Sunlight, we're pretty much, well, we have all the information. Our runners, various runners still need to pick up things, but we have the information on where everything is. We've almost seen it all. Ollie does pick up his token and harp. Yeah, we'll have to check and see. Ali's about to go into the grave. Uh, of course, we'll check the top three, I'm sure, but we'll see if Ali bothers with the bottom two. Um, Ali does already have the armor, so knows that uh, it's just the stones of sunlight that he's really looking for. So we'll see if, uh, if, if he deems it worth it to check out the bottom two, or he wants to go check out the four maybe instead. Looks like these coordinates are proving somewhat troublesome. If um, if if the stones of sunlight are in the bottom of the grave, and Ali goes and checks that, Ali could save a ton of time just not having to go on this uh, on this lengthy walk to the coordinates. Mm -hmm. And Cyberdark looks like he's about to wander into Garenham. Meanwhile, we have High Spirits taking a death to a green dragon. level 12 up there too, so it's, um, got some MP anyway. And MP is something that our runners sorely need. And Ollie is making the dive down the grave, or, yep, down the grave, so we'll see if the stones are down here, Ollie's gonna have a significant advantage over all the other runners. Definitely, we've seen Zarnax and Cyber just rescuing the princess takes a little bit of time. Forget like trying to figure out where that North 54, West 76 is. Um, but the first chest comes up herb, so not good so far. Brian does point out that um, with permanent repel, the armor, the silver shield, and outside, this should be pretty quick for Ali to check the bottom two. So uh, definitely makes sense, but. Uh, it's, uh, boy, I could save a ton of... And Cyberdark picking up his heart and token. Actually, Ali, even though it does, even though Ali does get some encounters, the Demon Knight's pretty easy to kill with 126 attack power. The Wizard is not much of a threat either. So some good, uh, some good uh, enemies to get some experience off of. As is going to check this last. Be interesting to see two cyber on the top floor of graves. See what cyber decides to do. Oh, it's a key. So I think we're guaranteed that overworld search spot is the stones of sunlight, which turns it back into. Uh, turns it back into Zarnax and Cyberdark. They have the coordinates, they have the princess rescued. They're the ones suddenly with the leg up now uh, on their way to what we now know is the Stone of Sun. Yep. And I think. Has Ollie rescued the princess yet? I think he might have. I don't remember seeing it. Maybe, but. High Spirits making his way through the Swamp Cave. I would imagine he's going to start his hunt for... Oh, oh wait. Oh, he hasn't rescued the princess yet. Yeah, High Spirit's going to make the quick princess rescue before starting the hunt. Hmm, Axmore's with Hurtmore. That's kind of rude. Axmore's with Hurtmore. Yeah, it was a little rude early on, but uh, with our runners having the Eredrick's armor, the Hurt Moor's not too bad anymore. But yeah, early on, there were a couple of runners that uh, fell victim to that for sure. But High Spirits has his princess rescued, uh, a little outside and a quick walk back, and he'll be on the hunt for his own Oh, look. Breconary. Oh. 
Does the Breconary even count? I mean, it's absolutely useless in this seed, so no. But, but you can buy fairy what? Uh, uh. Zarnax getting, getting the... Oh, Zarnax getting information about where the, uh, where the rainbow drop cave is, so he got that at least. So it looks like now Xarnax needs to go quite a bit further south and quite a bit further west. Oh, and look at that. While hunting around for his coordinate, Xarnax has found Hawksness. So it uh, looks like plenty of resources to be able to take out this uh, Stone Man. And at level 13, does have sleep. So this Stone Man will not put up much of a fight, I don't and we'll get his Erdrick's armor and you know, probably pick up his Stones of Sunlight relatively quickly thereafter, considering how I'm pretty sure the coordinates will lead, you know, just a little bit to the west of Hawksness. Yeah, and I think if I remember seeing it correctly, yeah, I think just north of Swamp Cave by the mountains is Garenham, so once Zarnax checks there, he'll have the other two, uh, the other two items as well, so... Zarnax picking up the armor and awfully close to the three quest items. Even though it doesn't have any yet, very close to the three quest items. Cyber about to get the bad news at the bottom of the grave that there's just another magic key there. Um, oh, see the goal of first, but about to find out that it's time to go hunt the four. And if Zarnax hunts the coordinates first and gets the Stones of Sunlight, he'll have a slight leg up that, uh, uh, once he goes to the back of Garenham and gets the harp and the token, he'll know that the grave is empty and won't need to even bother stepping foot in there. Even though our other runners didn't spend that much time in the grave, uh, Zarnax, if he finds the stones first, will know not to bother with it. Shubinator pointing out in chat that Ali was going to try to maybe see if he could count the coordinates and realize that the uh, land mass doesn't go far enough north and far enough west. We saw Zarnax kind of scout that out earlier too and kind of hit a dead end and realized that wasn't happening. So Ali off to rescue the princess. Oh, in Tablet Cave. Oh, in Tablet Cave. We never checked Tablet Cave, did we? Tablet Cave has a gold High Spirits shaft. Okay, they, oh, oh, it's probably one of the dark caves, and I missed it when High Spirits was in there. So Cyber Dark does use the Greyland positioning system and is now going to count out to the coordinates. Looks like. Zarnax does find Garenham first, so we'll see um, if Zarnax bothers with the grave at all. Has not, does not know yet that the overworld item has to be the Stones of Sunlight, but we'll see if he with, uh, grave. So, regardless of, of how the whole thing started, all our runners pretty much in the same place. We're all right around the similar experience, uh, run of similar levels, same sort of quest items. Almost everyone has the armor. High Spirits hasn't found the, uh, hasn't found Hawksness yet, but once he does, he'll have the armor quickly. And uh, everyone hunting around for those stones of sunlight. This is uh, actually converged pretty quickly here. Yeah, this is this this is what we would call a race. Um, it, it's this is definitely too close to call at this point. The good news for our runners is that in this playoff format, the top two move on to next week. So you don't have to finish first; you just have to finish in the top two. But man, even right now, trying to figure out who's in the top two is really difficult. Well, Cyberdark is the first runner we have here to f to finish off the trifecta. 
So now all he needs to do is find the Silver Harp Cave and find the old man, the jerk, and he will have what he needs to access Sherlock. Yeah, I can't remember who had who had seen which caves. I I feel like all of our runners have seen the jerk. I'm not sure if Cyberdark has seen the harp yet or not. But uh, um, but yeah, we're wrapping up. Cyberdark's on his way. And if I recall, the uh, Staff of Rain Cave is somewhere up in this general vicinity where Cyberdark is kind of headed. Yeah, he looks like he has location in mind, so. Uh, he must know. I feel like he must know where the, the Staff of Rain Cave is. I think you're right. I think it's up here in this forest. Oh, High Spirits. Actually, uh, the one thing Breconary is good for. Refilling your, your magic. Zarnax picking up the stones of sunlight as well, so Zarnax just about ready to go. Needs to find the, uh, or needs to go to the uh, harp trading cave and needs to get the jerk. Um, but otherwise, he's good to go. Gets a nice level 14 with a ton of power. Oh, wait, not much else. Well, hey, ton of power means that Dragon Lord fight won't take as long, right? Yeah, I think we might actually have enough MP for this. Uh, I mean, we don't have many attacks. We get, what? Eight heal mores, uh, so maybe ten attacks. There's 144 attack power. You don't need many attacks. Ooh, I think Zarnax might have just realized that he needs to trade in that harp. Cyber did make a beeline for the harp cave. Has seen the harp cave, so he's got his uh, staff of rain. He's got everything he needs to make the rainbow drop. And I think High Spirits might have picked up his Stones of Sunlight. And it looks like Ollie is just about to pick up his Stones of Sunlight. My goodness. Everybody's getting everything right at the same time. I'm not sure if High Spirits... Did High Spirits get his? Yes, he did. That's right, it's in that desert up there. He was uh, wandering around a little bit looking for it, but he did get everything straightened out and had his Stones of Sunlight. Cyber... First one to get the rainbow drop, heading right for the rainbow drop cave. Cyberdark in grind and go so mode. So Cyberdark is the first one of our runners to be officially in grind and go mode. Although no silver shield for Cyberdark. Not sure if that's going to be an issue or not. With that high strength, pretty high HP. The silver shield means that Cyberdark's the only one not repelling, well... I guess you repel one Sharlock enemy. Zarnax up there is repelling the wizard, and that's all. Um, but at 70 attack powers, uh, 70 defense power, Cyber is a long ways away from defense breaking anything in Shar Oh, Wicked Viking also pointing out in chat that High Spirits has not yet seen Hawksness, so he doesn't have Erdrick's armor. Yeah, High Spirits, as soon as he finds Hawksness, he'll have the armor real quick. Um, but yeah, he has not found it. So I would imagine now we're going to see an Axe Knight grind in the Swamp Cave. That just makes sense. It's so close to start, and it's, the experience you get per minute is just outrageous. So I would imagine we're going to see that Axe Knight grind. What, one thing... Was it, an, was, it a, was it a blue dragon in Swamp, I thought? Or is it, was it an Axe Knight? I can't remember. Any. I can't remember now. It might have been... Either way, either one of those are going to be better than what Ali's doing here with the Stone Man. Okay, so High Spirits did get turned around a little bit. I wasn't sure if he picked up his stones or not. He got turned around a little bit, but got, now he's gotten everything straightened out. Has the, the Stones of Sunlight. Ready to get the Rainbow Drop, but as you point out, needs to find Hawksness for that armor. I believe it was just south of the exit to Swamp Cave, maybe a little southeast or so, but I don't think High School High Spirits has been down there yet. Oh, you're right, it was an Axe Knight over there, so that will definitely be the grind spot. You're absolutely right, Z-Man, that's for sure where our, our runners are going to go. Yep, so right now, to determine who is going to be quote-unquote in the lead, um, it's all, all going to depend on when Zarnax gets on the grind. 
Yeah, I, I like Cyberdark here. He's only, what, 700 experience behind. He'll make that up in no time on these Axe Knights. And uh, Zarnax, I think, still hunting around for, or for Harp Cave, so uh, Cyber's quick early exploration paying off. Although, Brian Williams pointing out in chat that Axe Knights do have um, Heal More, so if the Hurt More doesn't kill it, then the Heal More takes effect. So if, I win, if I'm Cyber Dark, what I do here is I attack first, and then cast the Hurt More. So yeah, it's a two-turn kill, but it's a guaranteed two-turn kill. I, I I always tend to go the opposite way. I tend to feel like, let's throw the Hurt more out there and see if we can one-shot it, but uh, I think it probably ends up similar if you, uh, ooh, we got the heal more instead, or the Hurt more instead of the heal more. Uh, it probably works out about similar in the way. But either way, that Axe Knight's going to allow him to, he's picked up level 14 with that big power boost. Um, either way, the Axe Knight's going to help him to get the experience really fast and uh, as Zarnax out looking for the, uh, the Harp. Yeah, so Cyberdark right now clearly in the lead with Alagerbrap not too terribly far behind. And Zarnax, once Zarnax finds the uh, Staff of Rain Cave, not tar not far behind there, High Spirits needs to find Hawksness, and he just did. Yeah, these things are all coming together real fast, like you were saying. High Spirits about to get his armor, then he'll be in grind and go mode. He did see, well, he does have the Rainbow Drop. I was going to say, he saw the Rainbow Drop Cave if he didn't stop by, but he did stop by and get it. Um, so, he'll have his armor and be ready to go. Zarnax, I think, is heading the general. No, OS not. Zarnax does still need to find the Harp Cave, and he'll be ready. You know, I wonder if Ollie is doing just a temporary grind here on a Stone Man, and it's going to death warp back to the castle, and then get on the Axe Knight grind. Possibly. Um, I mean, I guess you could make an argument that with sleep, the stone man, uh, the stone man is a pretty quick kill on 132 attack power. You don't have to worry about that heal more anyway. Um, I still think I prefer, even with the heal more, I think I still prefer the Axe Knight, but that could be what Ali's thinking too, is to get away from that set. Now, one thing we saw earlier, a few minutes ago on Zarnax's side, that still could, uh, turn the tides of this race quite significantly, uh, Zarnax ran into one of our friendly red dragons. We haven't seen those much at all. In fact, I think that was the only one we've seen all seed. And the red dragon pulled out the sleep spell. And we're not going to repel red dragons in Charlock. There's no way. They have 120 strength. We're not getting our defense that high. So, if we run into a red dragon in Charlock and get snoozy, boy, that could end some dives real quick, and that could really jumble things up. This could be, uh, this, this, yeah, this, this is certainly far from over. Right, well, Ali took the Death Warp off the Stone Man, not going back to the Stone Man, but gonna check out Sherlock, it looks like, and see what's for, what's... Jubinator mentioning in chat that High Spirits is probably very upset, very mad right now about missing out on the armor. Uh, maybe, but to be fair, he's had uh, the magic armor for a while. Magic armor is almost as good as Erdrick's armor. It's not like he was walking around with, like, no defense. Um, he's probably a little annoyed. I don't know that I'd say that's, like, the end of the race or anything. He probably wishes he had seen that a long time ago, of course, but uh, I think he knows that's pretty recoverable from that. Having the magic armor instead of the Erdrick's armor is not the end of the world anymore. So really, the big thing here, and you know, I know it's just a number, but the big thing in this seed right now, stat-wise, is, okay, their MP is a little low, but given their attack power, you know, how much MP do you really need? Problem is, with the, their agility being in the, you know, high, mid to high, mid to low 60s, they're not going to be running for much in Sherlock, so they're going to need Healmores to get through Sherlock. So this is certainly going to be interesting to see when some of our runners decide enough is enough and just try to take a, a dive. Yeah, they don't really have... They have nice attack power, so you would think they'd have to chop through, like, Axe Knights or Red Dragons, except the Red Dragon has sleep, so what do you do about that? And yeah, you're right, you can't take too much time with stop spells or heal mores because you're low on MP anyway. If you get all your resources at the bottom, you get 10 swings, which barely will be enough um, on with average rolls. So, 
you're not what, what do you do on the way down I, I wonder yeah if you're right someone wants to take like a, a stab at it and see if they can get lucky you're about one in three chance to run from those baddies the armored knight or red dragon but man if you want to go for it you could you could do some uh you could do some damage to the dragon lord if you got there At the same time, though, that Axe Knight, even with the Heal Mort, gives out experience so quickly. We see High Spirits up there coming up on level 15. Um, Zarnax is in the general area of 15. 15 comes at 7,500 experience, so. Um, and Cyberdark, just shy, just one Axe Knight shy, about to pick up 15. So, at this point, you might want to think about taking a Miracle Dive, but man, this Axe Knight's just paying out experience like crazy. And levels are still so close together that looks like all our runners deciding uh, to pick up that extra level. It's going to be interesting to see what level 15 here gives for our runners. Uh, 7 power, 12 agility, 6 and 6. Oh, this is close. Ooh, I, I, I like Cyber here. He's got that level. I think he's making a beeline for Sherlock. Uh, or making a beeline for the Dragon Lord. I, I you know, refresh and go, I'm guessing. I, I, I like. Yeah, you gotta go here, I think. Yeah, you're still not thrilled with the the not was it nine? You have nine heal mores exactly, and uh, boy, seventy something, seventy eight agility still could get dicey. Definitely not a guarantee to get all those resources at the bottom, but man, you have to go right. Yeah, especially given that this is the playoffs and only the top two make it. I I think that this is just you gotta go and hope. The one thing hurting Cyberdark a lot here is if he was able to get that silver shield, he'd be defense breaking the lower half of Sharlock and get many few, a lot fewer encounters. Unfortunately, defense power 79 is not defense breaking anything. Um, it wouldn't matter for this golem, but um, the other runners, if they decide to go on 15, will be have the benefit of repelling way more. No, can't even get away from a golem. Yeesh. This is not an auspicious start here for Cyberdark. Can't get away from the golem, although he can be, I feel like, a little more aggressive on these top floors since Sharlock is so close to the castle. If you get killed in this top floor, it takes you like 14 seconds to walk back here, so it's not a huge time risk. As you get further down, ooh, then you really don't want to start risking him, but I think uh, he can be a little bit more aggressive with his runs here and hope to heal walks up. And I think you know, shortly we're going to see the big difference here between their defense powers because I think. High Spirits is going for the dive right now, and I would imagine we're not going to see nearly the encounter rate that Cyberdark's getting right now. Yeah, we certainly are not. Uh, well, uh, let me see. He's defense-breaking wizards, star wyverns, and werewolves, uh, High Spirits. I don't know if you see any of those yet, but um, you certainly don't have to worry about that. And if not that much, you usually think, like, oh, we can probably run from those enemies anyway. But even still, one run block and an annoying little 15 here or something... Uh, that, that can be uh, really nice to avoid as we see Cyberdark getting, ooh, baby breath, thankfully, by a werewolf that High Spirits won't have to deal with. Something else to keep in mind on Cyberdark side, he didn't have a torch, so had to burn a Radiant. That actually t took him from nine Healmores to eight. Ooh, okay, well, he's got a little MP to play with with stop spells against Red Dragons then, I guess. Yeah, and you can absolutely see the difference that the defense power is making. Um, Cyber Dark had a good lead on High Spirits entering Sherlock Castle, but they're both on the same floor now. Yeah, and I believe right he Yeah, and I believe right here High Spirits has now just passed Cyber Dark and is going to head on to basement four, I believe, unless High Spirits has gotten himself turned around. Still. Yeah, just a touch it looks like. Oh, and Xernax finds the Staff of Rain Cave. And goes and picks up his Rainbow Drop, so he's going to be joining the uh, the party here soon. We're going to have Ali and Sherlock soon. Xarnax, once he gets 15, which he's very close to, 
he'll be in Charlotte. So we're going to have all four races, racers in Charlotte at the same time. Uh, to answer Trails' question, is this Zernix versus Cyberdark? Nope, this is a four-way race. Top two move on, bottom two go home. Zarnax getting 15, and like our, our, our the three runners, I assume he's going to take off right for Charlotte. Or kill another Axeman. Okay, Cyber has made it to the bottom floor. Looks like High Spirit's getting some of those blue dragon encounters that neither player can really repel. Still on the U-shaped floor, so still not too far behind, but Cyberdart opened up that maybe one floor lead again. Be really interesting to see what the spike tile is. The spike tile requires Cyberdark to use a heal more. Ooh, that's getting in. That, that's getting in rough shape. All right, so let's see. The big thing here is what's going to be the mini ball? Oh, here's a red dragon for Cyberdark. Oh, but he cut away without using too many resources. I don't know if Cyberdark knows or saw the sleep. Uh, and it didn't come out there, so maybe it's only 25% sleep. They did have hurt more, but that's probably better than the regular attack. Oh, it's an Axe Knight. Beautiful on the spike. Don't want to use any MP with the Hurt more here, so Cyber will have to put up with a couple annoying heal mores, but eventually chops through. Herb to heal up, and on eight heal mores, gonna try to make this thing happen. Can the 15 seed pull the upset and advance into the playoffs? Oh, looking up top, uh, High Spirits found a red dragon and had to stop spell it to keep it from putting him to sleep, so High Spirits down a heal more as well. Dragon Lord not playing nice, using a bunch of hurt mores. Bring up the high spirits thing because, as you said a second ago, remember it's the top two that advance. So, even if Cyberdark finishes off this uh, Dragon Lord here, high spirits can still claim second place and uh, and advance with the win here. So, both high spirits and Cyberdark kind of controlling their own destiny here. If they take out their Dragon Lords, they're in good shape to pick up the top two. Ooh, does not get back attack. So, right, so Cyberdark gets the first attack in. That could be big. Nice attack, too, of 15. Yeah. Oh, and a 21. The rolls are really starting nice here. <gasps> oh, ja, 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 ja. It takes a gamble on 48 and gets an attack of... Or uh, takes a gamble on 49, gets an attack of 48. That was close. That was really close, yeah. I'm sure he knew he could attack for 49, but wow. pointing out that gamble probably got him the win. Um, uh, I lost track in there, but there have been a lot of pretty pretty good attacks there. I think High Spirit just I got would... back attacked on his, so that's... In the meantime, Ali has made it to the Dragon Lord as well, but tries to heal walk and gets a red dragon. Oh, but gets away, so... Ali has the full complement of heal mores. If High Spirits or Cyberdark can't kill their Dragon Lords, Ali's right there, ready to, to snap up maybe a victory or a top. All right, Cyberdark using his last heal more. Can he take out the Dragon Lord? Oh, with an attack to spare. There you go. There we go. Cyberdark. Making it look easy. That was not necessarily easy. Gutsy Gamble on 49, paying off though and getting him the win. He's going to edge out this victory, and he's moving on to the next round, the semi-final. And coming in just under an hour, too. 59 minutes and 24 seconds officially, so a sub-hour time for Cyberdark. Indeed. Uh, I need to like, keep counting High Spirits, but I know he was down two heal mores, and there's his last one. Alright, can High Spirits take out the Dragon Lord here with his last two attacks? Oh, 24. Oh, one to spare. Oh, man, that's, that's a good game from High Spirits, who's walking back. 
Um, because the castle's so close, that's fun. Man, that's, that's, I, I, good game to high spirits. I feel bad for Ali and Zarnax, who are gonna be literally a minute or two behind. And, uh, they're gonna, they're not gonna advance, but wow, that was an incredible race by, by those two runners as well. Whew. Yeah, you can't really ask for much more of our runners here. All four of our runners in Sherlock at the same time, three of them fighting the Dragon Lord at the same time. This has just been a crazy close race. Yeah, I mean, Ali's going to miss out on second place by, by literally, I think it's going to be maybe a minute, minute and a half, if that. That's Over the course of an hour, that's pretty crazy to be separated by 90 seconds. Separated by 90 seconds, separated by 42 seconds. Ali's finished um, 1 hour 51 seconds. The high spirits, 1 hour and 9 seconds. And we do have our race winner, Cyberdark86, joining us in the chat. Cyberdark, congratulations, my friend. Nicely done. This was a close one, apparently. It, very. Very, very close. We had three Dragon Lords on screen at the same time, I believe. Um, uh, how'd that last dive go? That was a little, uh, ooh, a little fun one. Yeah, uh, I can't, and then that red dragon showed up. I said, oh no, it's the end, but I got through it. Well, and the, the funny thing about the red dragon, and you didn't actually see this, but the red dragons in the seed had sleep. So that, that, that could have been interesting. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, what did you think of the scene? It seemed pretty straightforward for the most part. A lot of stuff, like, right around start, and then you had to kind of do a little searching around. Yeah, but it was, a, like you said, a pretty straightforward seat. Nothing was too hard to find. Um, nice to start with the sword. I don't know about you, but it took me, like, 50 minutes to find Hoxness. No, I had Hoxness, what, 20, 30 minutes in, maybe? Yeah, that was literally the last direction I checked. GG. GG to you as well. And to you, Ellie. Um, nice and you know, Zarnax is finishing off the Dragon Lord right now. Uh, Zarnax had a trouble finding the Staff of Rain Cave up there in the northeast, uh, northeast there of Garenham, but. I mean, all of you were yeah, just so really close really together really for check, check. the entirety of this race. It was kind of ridiculous. Well. You, you kind of need to go back and watch this VOD. I mean, it was just a crazy good race. Oh, yeah, good yeah, like watching this one. Wait, you got <laughs> four, at 14 or 15. Yeah, and, you know, Zarnax is it's kind of nice when you're basically given everything except for MP. Zarnax had a trouble finding yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, and to answer Ali's question, everybody finished at 15. I thought going at 14, but I was like, so yeah, I was like, maybe one uh, heal more short, and it was like, can you really get lucky? And I was like, crazy good race. maybe I should have gone just to try, oh, yeah, and yeah, I thought about it, and I didn't. <laughs> and I probably wasted a lot of time thinking about going in instead nice of like just coming into a MP. I'm glad I didn't go at 14, because I lost a heal more thanks to that stupid red dragon learning he had sleep. Oh, it had sleep. I I only saw one. I um, like just at the like just before Dragon Lord. I only saw the. See yep. rally. They have sleep and hurt more. So once I saw that, I stop spelled it. Like I saw like three or four of them, but only one gave me an issue. But I had to I had to burn a heal more for that. Thankfully, I got some pretty sick rolls. I only had like two rolls against the Dragon Lord that were not in the twenty because I lost a heal more thanks to that stupid red dragon learning he had sleep. Yeah, we were kind of wondering about 14. 14 would have been tough with uh, with 60-something agility, Sweet. and uh, that yeah, Axe Knight, of course, more, everyone so. settled into the Axe Once Knight there, that, just uh, paying out experience. Both, right. them, yeah, we both kind of came to the same conclusion, I think, that Ali did, that you were probably a, a heel more short at 14, and you know, I think it turns out that that was an accurate statement, because I'm pretty sure all of you used your last heel more, and I think all of you even beat the Dragon Lord with one attack to spare. 
kind of wondering about. Oh, I could add one more heal more. Uh, I attacked on my last because I knew I would uh, beat and, the dragon. Uh, that axe knight. Of course, everyone settled into the axe knight there, just uh, paying out. Yeah, I think I ended up with one heal more left kinda, over, so kinda, I had a couple of attacks. That Ali did that you were probably a, a heal more short at fourteen, and you know, I think it turns out that that was an accurate statement because I'm pretty sure all of you used your last. Heal but yeah, more GG more. everyone. That was uh, man. Considering the seeds that I practiced with this morning, where I, I had swords and armor and Sherlock and 13, 14, 15 heal more and hurt more, it's like. This was easy, but yeah, I did the I did the gold grind very early. Like by level I six, I already had everything. But over. So even with all that cool. stuff we had, where agility was so low, we still couldn't like damage break most of the enemies in the game. Did you guys have silver? I did. Yeah, I had so I got silver and magic armor about you know like twelve minutes into the run because we had hurt more in such high attack power. I was like. <laughs> Yeah, I ended up finishing Lara to think. Yeah, you were the only one of our runners to, to not have silver. Seems like not doing the gold grind actually got me the win. Whew. But, uh, Ali, High Spirits, any general comments about the seed? Um, pretty easy to me. GG's are next, by the way. I think it was a pretty easy C to just. There was a lot of death too, we, for some reason. But considering like we had hurt more at level three, but for some reason I still died a lot. <laughs> Our MP was super low for a long time. Yeah, a lot of in stays. Uh, the one thing also, I mean, I was, like, at the beginning, I wasn't able to get encounters early. I was like, where are the encounters? And I knew I saw this time early, and I couldn't find any encounters. I was wondering what was happening. Were the only battle times around the zone? Or what? I, or maybe I, like, put repel and I didn't get Man, yeah, that was GG, Cyberdeck, High Spirits. Congrats on moving on. That was... Oh, that was so frustrating. I don't know if they, if anybody mentioned, like I, I walked literally the entire map looking for the uh, the staff of rain. I don't know if anyone else had that issue. No, mine was Hawksness. I didn't find Hawksness until 45, 50 minutes into the sea. Yeah, it yeah. seemed like everyone had one thing that kind of <laughs> hung them up, and High Spirits was uh was Hawksness, and yeah, Zarnax, we saw you had trouble with that staff of rain. Ooh, yeah. And then, oh, I mean, I'm, I'm really curious how uh, how much closer I would have been if I had even average encounters in Sherlock. I, I want to say I had close to 40. Yeah, did you have fun with red dragons on the bottom floor too? Because I know no, I, 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 didn't. Seems I, like... I saw one red dragon the entire seat. It was <laughs> in the overworld. <laughs> Wow, am I the only one who knew they had sleep and hurt more then? Oh, I, I, I did see both of those when I fought the one. Oh, that okay. I saw. Yeah, they were littered on the bottom floor for me and Sherlock, so that slowed me down a little bit. When I got onto the U floor, I think before I even got halfway through that floor, I saw five golems. I was getting chased by blue dragon. That was my nemesis <laughs> in there. I, I probably saw twelve or thirteen blue dragons. Yeah. Blue Dragons at least had hurt and liked to use it. Oh yeah, they were kind of nice. The only monster that really annoyed me the entire seed was I don't know, the werewolf because I saw about 50 of them. Yeah, up up by the uh, the Harp Cave around Everywhere there. Everywhere they were. That was the only enemy I encountered in that area and it was a desert. Yeah, they were annoying. And then the Axe Knight just because uh, it had heal more, was a little bit of a nuisance, but still, yeah, still the best place sure. to grind. And did you grind on the axe knight, or like where did you grind? I, I grinded on the axe knight. I uh, I spent a while on him before I even explored, um, just trying to get some MP. Yeah, I did stone for a while until like I felt I was close, and I, after that I went axe knight because I was close to. Uh, was close to um, Sherlock and the, uh, mm -hmm. 
Me, I only grinded on them for about a thousand experience because I'd gotten so many. I searched the overworld so much that I was a thousand away from fifteen by the time I actually found Hawk's Nest. So yeah, I like yeah. I, I went in, I killed like seven or eight of them, and I'm like, okay, time to go to Hawk's Nest or time to go to Sharlock. But yeah, yeah that was pretty close. Cool. That like four minutes for everyone finished with him. Yeah, I want to mention too. Uh... GG's definitely to uh, to Ali and Zarnax, even though didn't get in the top two. There was a grand total of three and a half minutes separating first from fourth, which is absolutely incredible. That'll be fun to watch back. Are you ready to uh, not count your numbers next week, Cyberdark? Don't remind me. <laughs> Time to start memorizing all these numbers. Yeah, I might have to practice this one. Uh, I'm kind of happy I'm not the, uh, progressing because now I would have act to practice this because like it seems like a really difficult challenge. We've definitely wondered who the real winners are in these in this week's races. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's more than a few people who are a little worried about the no numbers race. Those to be an interesting week next week. Yeah, think... we have uh, another match coming up here, and then the last two for this week are on Saturday. So, two nights of double headers and nothing else for the rest of the week. Well, it's, it's playoffs. We're about quality over quantity, right? <laughs> Got to bring those quality, no numbers races and permanent repel. Uh, and, it, and it's going to be hard to certainly beat this race this week, at least. I think. Now, this was just fantastic race to watch. All right, so do you guys have any uh, last little comments on this scene before we uh, kick it over to the second race of the evening? Uh, big thing everyone? is, thank you to Ragai and Z for coming in for commentary, and whoever the trackers were, I actually don't know. We had tracking, yeah. we had... Uh... Oh, and Aaron. Oh, sorry, we had Kaimon, Renicky, and uh, Brian Williams were tracking for us, and uh, Aramessi was the restreamer for him. Yeah, thank you, guys. Yep, and as they say in chat, make, do make sure to follow our runners. High Spirits, our next 42, Algebra Rep, and CyberDark86. You will find this content and more on their streams. They're all worth a watch, all worth a follow, most certainly. So make sure... Uh, Make sure you follow them. Make sure you follow my my co-commentator, Ryguy3745. Make sure you follow Aramessi, Kemi, Kemi and Renekai, and Brian Williams42. They are certainly worth the follow. Yeah, I want to thank everybody. And like I want to thank the, the league organizers for this league. I mean, I had fun. I never expected to get this far, honestly. If you told me I would be um, less than a minute away from like upsetting high spirits to move on the the, the next round, I would have said that I would call you. I would have called people crazy about that. And what? Uh, it it almost happened. I'm kind of surprised, but you know what? That's that's the fun of this. You never know it randomizes. That's why it's random. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Thanks. GG to all of you and uh, commentators and. Uh, trackers and restreamer that's hiding over there. Thank you all for uh, helping us get through this week. Yeah, just echoing what everybody else said. It's been a blast. Yeah, thank you guys for that great race. If you enjoyed that race, good news. We've got one more coming up right here. Stick around right here. And we've got our second playoff race, Mr. Holmes, Tristel, MTG, who I believe was in the chat a little while ago, Archfield Monk, and Monsieur Slime. They're going to do another one of these permanent repel seeds. So if you enjoyed this one, they've got, a, uh, they've got another one ready to go. Yes, indeed. Make sure you stick around. We're going to have Fur on Burgundy and the Wicked Viking on the call for the, this next upcoming race. Should be going underway shortly. So um, I think we're just going to say good night, everybody, and stick around for race two.